Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my dear. Well, go on. I want y'all to definitely stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Threads. You name it, we're on it. Just type in Boss Talk Podcast 101 and you can find us anywhere. But we want you to go over to our YouTube channel. That's where you see all our visuals. And if you want to see our full-length interviews, go ahead and sign up for our membership. You get some exclusive. What I mean ex exclusive? I mean exclusive content. Thank me in advance. Man, hey, man, we, this guy here, man, really frequents the show. He's my guy. You, you know, I have to have him on the show, though, because a lot of people love this guy. And he's been showing up and showing out lately, man. Little running mother elf is in the building. Man, what's going, what's down? going on, man? I'm back. Man, I'm glad you're back, man. Uh, you know, um, I did the Bun B interview. Let's go all the way in. I go straight <laughs> in on what I'm dealing with in my mind. I did the Bun B interview. I ate the Trio Burger, but I was prophetic. I want to say that. <laughs> I, I'm a prophet. You know what I'm saying? Because I asked Bun B, I say, look, you've had Drake. You've had, uh, who else did I say you had? You've had Ludacris. You've had Jada Kiss. You've had all of these people to come through here lately. E-40 even rock with him. Mm -hmm. You done had a lot of the grace to come through there. Mike Tyson came through there. But let me ask you this. Who would you want to see come through next? And he looked at the camera. And he looked at me. And he said, B. Mm -hmm. The reason I say I'm prophetic is because B is in Houston today. Mm -hmm. And I basically spoke powerfully with my vocal cords. And boom! Now, he's at the, is it the bar? What's, what center is it? NRG. Stadium. NRG Stadium. Beyonce is there, and I really believe she's about to take a bite out of that. She's going to take a bite out of one of them bites. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care if you're on the diet right now, B. Take a bite out of the burger. See, definitely, I think she is the solidification of it. He does have a song with, or two with her anyway. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's only right that she represent. You know what I'm saying? But he did say the real judge of his burger is not B, it's but blue. it's blue. It's blue. Because mm -hmm. she's a connoisseur when it comes to burgers. burgers. She loves burgers. Oh, I didn't know that. So Jay was the one told him that. Mm -hmm. That's what he said on the interview. And Jay said that... Blue, and they think they eating one of the best burgers right now in the world. And you know that's on. He just, just eat pictures of the billionaire family. He said eating that the burger they is already. What he, mean. he said Blue Nim already eating one of the best burgers in the world. I don't know where they at eating this mm -hmm. burger, but he say it's supposed to be the best. But he can't say it's the best until he tried to trail burgers. Mm -hmm. What he said, I said, man, I like this conversation. But when you're talking about Beyonce and stuff like that, what I'm thinking about, um, I remember you told me about um, there was this article that said that she was banned from a certain restaurant. Yeah, um, a lot of restaurants. A lot of restaurants. Because when I think about it, if B walk into anywhere, it's a problem. Everybody see her, they're gonna be mobbing Stay that place. Mm -hmm. So you know, we always say, okay, we want that stardom, we want that power, we want to be like her. But do you really want you can can you go anywhere? No, nah, you're not regular no more when you Beyonce. You see what I mean? Like even even she know that. Like even you know you can't just go shopping and not tell yeah. them all. You gotta tell them all. I gotta that's a lot. Think about that. Well, I, I wanna I, go I, shop. I, I actually wanna be present. I don't wanna do it online. I wanna be present. I don't want no status to do it for me. I wanna be present. I gotta call the mall. Cause it's gonna be pandemonium. They gotta lock it down. Up. Yeah, and they charge you with that. They charge artists with that. Like oh, they really? charge you with inciting riots and things of that nature. They, oh. Yeah, you get charged with that. No, that's hard. But so you didn't you even do it purposely. Call. If you just wanted, like, oh, I want to go to you ain't Walmart. Regular no I want to go to wherever. Well, it's you not know, your fault. And then. It is your fault you ain't regular no more. You went out there and put that work in <laughs> and made them folks love you like that. Bro, let me man. tell you the funniest thing to me, man. Um, I seen, this was about four years, five years ago, and uh, Bow Wow was walking with the phone in the front of him like, yeah, they don't know it's me. You know? I think I seen that too. I think I seen that Say, too. Say, at the end of the day, when he was walking in, he's like, they gonna, if they know it's me, you know, and people were really hitting him. But I think Bow Wow was trying something at that time with social media yeah. to, to, you know, just prick up different things that was happening. I think it was ahead of his time. Because yeah. if you really figured out, like, it was, it's people like, who figured it out 
He yeah. ain't even really rocking with it like he was before, but right. he figured it out early on mm-hmm. how to get people's attention. Why the did thing he go that back? everybody else is doing, the tonalities that they're doing now, the the the, the Charleston Whites, the, all the stuff that they're doing. Mm-hmm. Plies, I believe, had that whole thing mm-hmm. going first. Gates, Gates was doing Gates it. Gates was yeah. doing it too. Mm-hmm. They was putting out uh, content Gates. like all the time. But why did Plies? Because people was really chiming in on Plies, meaning like in a good way, with all the things that he was talking about. Every day he was putting something when, out, but why did he Plies, back off? Plies, I think he I think he still did does actually I think it just don't hit the same it don't hit the same because Plies took the goals out man you think that's what it 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 is man when the gold teeth came out man you remember that uh, shawty video yeah 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 think about it when you seen him standing out there with that hat kicked to the side you know what I'm saying it's a whole nother Plies this is something different and then he 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 got his swagger you know then you you start looking at the tribulations of who Plies is Jamie Foxx come on and he hit him in the chest with some man he's educated and next thing you know he's like damn Plies supposed to be thugging he in the bushes you know what I'm saying he got that chopper and he in the bushes well, then you turn around and you see Plies keep going through different things and he gets thrown off the stage where he fall off the stage with a nigga. I remember that, you know, yeah. boom, he hit the ground. He gets up, though. He never loses his hat. I never seen no crap nah, like I that in my life. The nigga never <laughs> lost his hat. He fell 20 feet to the ground. He yeah. never lost his hat. So when you think of this, this Plies, then he gets on the internet and he started to talk about all these different things, these women, all the different stuff, these cars. From a funny all, perspective. Oh, he was killing yes. it. Yes. Yeah. He was killing yes. it, but them goals. That's what a power. But, but he done had a few. He done had a few viral moments since he got his teeth done too. Oh yeah, when? Yeah, yeah. When? I, don't, I don't know what he done yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, name it. Cause I, I can't name it. it. I can't name <laughs> it. The nigga used to talk about. I can name mine because he used to talk about that food. Don't eat that. He had a no, sweet uh, Saturday. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Talking about even on Thanksgiving. Don't eat that food. Yeah. Three days. You got yeah. three days. Nigga, quit trying to eat these leftovers after three days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Plies really figured it out. But it's a lot of people who didn't figure it out as well. Mm-hmm. Think about that. A lot of people don't have a personality like that either. Like yeah. you gotta understand, when Plies came with that personality, we didn't know he even had that. Mm-hmm. No, we didn't. Cause all we thought was goom, 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 goom. Exactly. Oh, I love the it. music. I love that music. But then when he started to give you a, perspe- a different perspective of like, oh, I laugh. I joke. Yeah. I do this all day. I play, I for sure play. And it was like, oh, this nigga funny. Yeah. He came and gave more personality. I feel like it turned him up. He had two records pop yeah, again yeah. for him. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I feel like that's what you want to do when you are an older, older artist. Like, you just want to keep coming in and out. Because cause your relevance, like, your music going to forever be there. That catalog, that's, that ain't going to do nothing but make the promoters book you some more. Let's, but I think, hold on, but I look. think that the reason, like, for me personally, um, I started looking at Plies when they started saying, well, he's educated, he got his degree, he got mm-hmm. his this. I'm like, oh, he's more than just the music more than just a rapper you know he's looking into there's a lot of different rappers that do that went and got their masters mm-hmm. went and got and i was like oh that's when i started doing my research into them even more because i feel like their mindset was a lot higher you yeah. know what i mean but even 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 still and still for him to lean on the goon stuff I and to know it. how to market it you see what i'm saying i loved it He's smart for sure. But mm-hmm. the nigga, the nigga was bad. When he said crackers, bad man niggas, man. Oh yeah, he a bad and, man. And, and he was talking about that courtroom. He was right on point, nigga, he'll from floor, a nigga who floor really floor experienced nigga. it, who really know what it is, to hear him say it, and then to know that he wasn't never doing it, but he knew about it. That nigga damn sure was close to somebody that had some time that went yeah. through some stuff. Yeah, and we always think about it. he always people say he really speaking through like his brother's life. So that's the whole game. Like like he seen it. He had to go to court. He had to be there with his brother to talk about it in detail like he did on them songs, man. Ain't nobody really captured it no mm-hmm. more like he did, really. The way he captured that 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 whole no, little was a bad boy. No. Let's talk about uh you. You um um Iggy Azalea, you, you wrote this song, right? Mm-hmm. But when you wrote the song you and Iggy, Iggy is a different Iggy now. She's not the same. When what I mean? say that, she's she's even blew up more, right? More? No, I she's, feel like she was there when I got to work with her. You think so? Oh, for sure. I think she done just went crazy because she, I, I, maybe it's the disconnect. Cause I think when they get so much money, a person gets so much money and they start disconnecting themselves, they done done enough. They don't want to do it no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll see a little video come up, but not like when you wrote for, what was the name of the song again? Uh, Sally Walker. Sally Walker. Well, I did, I did, I, I did nine out of ten on her sophomore album. So that's really the, yeah. nine. Yeah, I worked on nine out of ten records. How did you even link up with with, with Jay White? 
Jay White a bad nigga. I'm yeah, tired of that nigga not slide. He slid me Jay a few White. times. I need that nigga on phone I done told this nigga, man. every camera. Quit following me on Instagram. I'm finna block you, nigga. I need you over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> tell that story, man. I love that dude, man. Like, I love the fact that he's, oh, my he's got a hell of a reputation in the city. I can go to the Guitar Center anywhere, and they got a lot of love and respect for him. But mm -hmm. just tell me the process. He's at the of, Guitar Center. Yeah, that's, they know him up yeah, in the Guitar he, Center. Yeah, because he go in, I tell you, he go buy stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because they tell you, yeah, you had Jay White on there. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't caught up with the nigga. He followed me. But I, I said, I need to catch up with him. He had a little run in all of them. You know, I started telling him the story, but mm -hmm. I ain't been able to catch up with him. So he's like, that's my guy. He coming here all the time. Now, you nigga up that Guitar Center buying some stuff. Man, quick story. <laughs> guitar Center, Jay White. If we want to do like four to five sessions right then and there, and we got four to five rooms, he going to go buy four to five setups mm -mm. i'm telling you it don't matter we'll do this a million times like don't nothing stop the, the work if, if we in that flow that that day he like hey oh i like that we turning we turning he gonna like these folks know us because we come in there and we like hey we need eight monitors seven boards this many mics oh, we don't need let me get this many cool, like it's, we do that like it's that nigga there he don't play bro I believe it cause music done. but they say I'm sure know him at that guitar center he up there breaking bread breaking big bread they loving that nigga up there and I ain't gonna lie to you I wish he'd come buy me some new cameras too I'll take <laughs> you know what I'm trying I'll take some new ones but uh like let's get back to uh uh okay Iggy. yeah like Iggy like like did you were you ever y'all was in the room together or yeah 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 and, and so, y'all basically so the first, the first time we did it I, I um I sent over a reference. The reference, I, I flew, I got flew in the next day. They flew the you in, they had that? Yeah, next day, next day they had to have it. And y'all basically, y'all said we did everything hibachi. We talked, we 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 worked on it together. We we. How long was other. you there? Uh, we worked on it, I probably was in that process probably two, three months. So we spent it almost every day. Now that was a pinnacle of her career. That was a big part. So I'm just saying, have you guys spoken anymore? Worked together? Or I, ha I have spoke to her. Um, she actually came in town. Tour her tour came in town with um, Pitbull. Okay. And we, you know, she took us, let us come backstage, do the whole shebang. We did some music, did some more music. You dig what I'm really? saying? Oh yeah, for sure. So it's all love. She just she a mega star, bro. Like that's what I told you. I know she get that money now. So we I talking about mega. You ain't seen her no more different. like that. What she done changed up. They switch up once they get so big because. They don't really have to. No, the hunger ain't there no more. Let's be real for a minute. I, I think, Nigga, I think you it ain't never business. had throw I that ass in business. a circle. Yeah. If you didn't have throw that ass it in a circle business. and you ain't never had a hit, that'll be a different little running. Then the, the, you ain't and never wrote for all these people. I'll say, okay. and, and I'm 32. Yeah, I need to get out the way. Oh no, no, I ain't saying you get out the way. I'm not saying you're you 32. Gotta make that paper no, listen, too. Her, but, no, 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 saying. no. I'm saying no. He's saying he's saying I ain't, I ain't saying you're 32. No, I'm saying you looking for a hit. Oh no, but what age am I? You just come. You, you name. You, you say I'm be twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty four. Twenty five. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Twenty ten. Twenty eleven. Twenty twelve. Twenty thirteen. Twenty fourteen. Twenty fifteen. Twenty sixteen. Twenty seventeen. Twenty eighteen. Twenty nineteen. Twenty twenty. 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 Twenty I, I don't have to do the same exact things I did no, when yeah, I was. No, it's different. You see what I'm but saying? But if you didn't have them hits. But if you didn't have the hits, was a, I didn't have no, that If I didn't have the hits, I couldn't even be. I wouldn't be. No, you had to come up. You said get out the way early. I heard you. I would get out the way. No, I nigga, be. no. You gonna go get it. Chain, well, I was chain, two chains when he when he two chain had got been, that second win. No, no, no. It, so you said a second win. Yeah, he got that second win. He understood. <laughs> he treated it like business to go around about it the second time. A lot of the times, people ain't getting that opportunity. You see what I'm saying? That brings up or they question. first opportunity come at thirty, and now niggas is treating you bad because mm -hmm. you old and you done burnt them up. Your first, you're like, man, oh man, I'm, let me shake back. No, baby, you can't shake back. You ain't got no time to shake back. There's it, an age limit on music. It's not an age limit on music, but like I say, with me, I'm from Dallas, grew up here. Like we, you seen Jay Cruz was in here earlier. Like a lot of people seen me grow, so I've had plenty of opportunities to burn everybody up. Yeah, I could have tarnished my name. I've seen everybody do it. I've seen a lot of people do it. Mm -hmm. I've seen people who haven't done it, and them the people that is your peers and your brothers in this business that you treat because they know how this game go because it's a business at this point. You see what I'm saying? Now a new artist, I always tell them, I, all the young artists that I run into, they tell you, I tell them this. 
Like, bro, you only can be the new nigga one time. That's real. Use this momentum. Do something good with it. Because when they don't care about you, you got to have a fan base to sit under there. Mm -hmm. And if you was just a popular thing, they going to go to the next popular thing. Like, you got to get them something to hold on to. Like, okay, they looking at you right now. You popular. But what's going to keep them there? I want I want to go back to Iggy for a second. Like, the Iggy you work with, that was cool. Mm -hmm. But when T.I. and her had their differences, she seemed at some point where he couldn't figure it out. Two different type that was of relationship. Before. That was before. Two different type of relationship. Yeah. Right? And that was before you met her. Yeah. Wow, so you met you you okay, that's that's interesting. And then they not even That's interesting. Their relationship, I seen Tip come to the studio. Correct. They bang, yeah. they bang, but so. the but the people see it a, a different way. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. telling you. The me people, of course. Oh, of course. I, yeah, they ain't seeing it like that. But I'm just saying Especially fuck. if they not saying, Oh, it's good. It's good. They don't yeah. say that. They ain't been saying that we ain't just at Which the they don't understand it's that simple. Go get behind some boss talk cameras and say it's good. It's good. We kick it, it's everybody good. We eating. Well they gonna assume rich. and you can't be mad at what they assume. Everybody rich. That's the whole mm -hmm. game. All them niggas got it. They all got it. <laughs> So let me ask you, like, so she was she was very easy to work with, no mm -hmm. problems. No, nah, it wasn't. No, it wasn't had no a problem. good time. No, nah, for sure. That's all I needed to hear. Now, Lotto, that when you when you guys worked on that, mm -hmm. like, what was the uh, you? It was you and the boy we had in there the other Bobby day. Sessions. Bobby Sessions. Bobby Sessions. Yeah, yeah. When y'all worked together, when you did you? How did that come about from see, your perspective? See, from my perspective, I wasn't there. Bobby was there. He was Sabachi style. He was in there with her. See, okay. I got it sent to me. I guess they had got to a point where it was like, it's missing something. We don't know yet, though. And bro was like, see what you can get out of it. And then whatever I got out of it was the glue to what came to it. You see what I'm saying? Wow. So it was just, I was the last piece to that piece. That part, you know? yeah. And it was a blessing to just be able to seize that moment because, you know, you get thrown them bones all the time, and you know, and sometimes you just you you on the spot. You got your kid, you ain't, you ain't thinking to do that. Yeah, like I drop everything, and I'm like, okay, let me think real quick. Let me see what what they need. Let me get in that get in that zone there. And here we are, double platinum. Yeah, yeah, that's hard, man. <laughs> that's hard. Double platinum, man. That's crazy. So, did did you get a plaque? They send you everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. On both occasions, you plaqued up. I'm plaqued up. Damn. Well, I tell you, I should bring them damn plaques up here. I want to see them plaques. You know who was that brought the plaques up here? Lil Zach was that here? Mm -hmm. Lil Zach brought all the damn plaques up here. We line them up on the wall, man. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, what what's the what it, what is the process today? You think? You know, you've been a writer, you a performer. You know, um, that song that what's that one that you sung where you in front of that damn house? My favorite song in the world, man. New Year's Oh my God, that's yeah, yeah, it right yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Like, when we gonna get another one of them? Man? You like that? What? Come on, man. You know dang well. I feel like that just was a a, a stage a, in, in it was life. A phase. Yeah, and it, and it was it, it like shout out to the producer that um Big Man Kari, California boys. They went they went from her, so we just did something different. It was just a different mesh. It was just like. That was our first time in the studio working. Yeah, but you came in front of the damn house like you. I don't know if you really. Yeah. In my mind, I'm like that nigga got an Airbnb, man. That nigga ain't that. Nah, that was that was the label I was Airbnb. on. That was their house at the time. So that was that, that was, <laughs> that was a That's the house I recorded that song in. <laughs> it, it, was, it was dope though. You, I was like, this nigga is really killing this song. It wasn't even by, to me. The lyrics outweighed the the video. Nah, facts. I'm being real. Facts. Nah, I, I agree. Because when we look at the video now. It got uh, uh, all this millions on it, but me and Pine be like, bro, if we would have known. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I just threw something on that day. I had a loose hat, my hat all big and loose. You got to put a clip of that. Out. <laughs> big old loose hat on there, pants, loose shirt. I'm like, you know, you know, you just, you, you we hustling. Know. Like yeah, you said, yeah, we in that mold. Yeah, hungry. We in that mold. That's crazy, man. So, and, and that song right there, that, I know throw that ass in the circle is probably, mm -hmm. it's, it's a, which one of the biggest, which, um, biggest. <laughs> I feel like Circle for sure always. I think so too. I think so but, too. But it's it's a certain energy that New Year's resolution bring out of people, bro. And and, and, and they come and they give me their testimony, and it be so similar. It be like it's it's a certain connection I get yeah. from that record. That song make a nigga go get some money. That song, I don't know what it is about that song. Like people come up to me and they like cry their heart out, bro. Like I get wow. real like. Real people talking to me about that record, like man, you don't know where I was. I listen to this song every day, drove to work. Like I've heard so many stories like that. So I would mo most definitely. That's my pocket in between 
making you feel good and, 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 and making you just feel something. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I always that's how I always loved music growing up. Like what what was what where was I at? Like I remember I was sad when this came out and this song made me feel good. Like I remember when No Diggity was my favorite song. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh, I remember when Let's uh -huh. Get Married by Jagged Edge was my favorite man, song. Man, that song that like to made me marry a girl and I Come wasn't even on, supposed man. to be with that old man. I just remember when these and that's and, yeah, and, and for them to tell me I had lyrics, that, I was like, man. I'm doing what I'm doing. Jagged Edge. First of all, I was in that I was gonna marry something, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> But that's just what good music do, and it just it was letting me know that I was doing that for people, and I just like that's why I always wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. musically. So, man, so what, what you think about? It? I know Shout you got some. Shout out, Mr. Maker. I ain't had Mr. Maker on the set. Man. We talked. I know you've been taking over my role for I have, longest. I have, I have. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So he's <laughs> doing a great job at it too. I get to talk a little more. He look know, over at me. He let me roll. You know. So you, you what? So, so. How would um? Okay, cause you talked about. Um, throw that ass in a circle and it's said New Year's, right? Mm -hmm. New Year's resolution. resolution. So, how long ago did you do those? Throw that ass in a circle just had its 10. Yeah. 10. This and year. Resolution? They last I since think so. 16. Yeah. 16. Yeah, 2016. Do you ever feel like um, pressure or, because like for me, I'm a perfectionist. I'd be like, man, I need another one. I need another one of mm -hmm. those. I need another one. Do you feel that way? Never. For some Why? reason, no, because I feel like um, before I made Circle, like, take this, before I made Circle, this is the fun part. People always be like, man, that throw that ass in the circle. And I'm like, bro, I've been on the road eight years before this, bro. Like, it's records that might not be crazy, insane hit records, but that's where your fan base holds you. Mm -hmm. And you have, I got a... Uh, 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 10, 10 to 12 records that got millions of views on it that people were requesting and want to hear and things mm -hmm. of that nature. And within the past five years, I've every year I drop a record that like do like, you know, it stream like it's supposed to, like what these young niggas go nuts for. Like I'm doing that er regularly. So like I, like I said, I don't get excited about that because I look for another meter to move because I know what a hit record look like. And today a few million views is not a hit record. So you shouldn't be looking for that big major hit no. all the time. See me now, I, I got to, I've been doing it so long, all I got to do is keep feeding this base I got. Okay. I know what they want. They want excellence out of me. They want creativity. In between that, I'm still building. I know that. Mm -hmm. But I'm building with, I don't know, it's a, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the ice now. Like, it's not just a block of ice no more. Now I know what I'm, what I'm going for. So I kind of aim and move a little different. Like, I'm not out here head first trying to drop records. I'm in the DJ's faces. Like, nah, now when I give them some, like, I just gave them some recently. Shouts out to the DJs that got that birthday, man. <laughs> they know what that is. Oh, oh it's something serious. I saw that you dropped So that. it's something serious that I know when it move. And, I, you know, I just kind of sit in and sit in the pocket. God done bless me to be able to write, act, do all these other things where I can right. take care of my family. So I'm not kind of rushed, rushing my creativity. And you're still young. 32, you're still young. In a, not in the music world, not in the music world. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I, I'll say, if I didn't have a fan base, I'd be like, you need to make a hit now. Yeah. Now. Like, a nigga my age with no hit, who, why are you telling somebody they should fuck with you? Mm -hmm. What have you done? How do you why? feel that's about real. How do you feel about stuff that's trending? You know, people always feel like, in any genre, it doesn't always have to be in music. It could be just in um, content creation. It can be in anything. Mm -hmm. Do you think, like, things that are trending, do you think people should always jump on stuff that's trending all the time? And it doesn't always have to be, like, a dance or whatever. I'm talking about, let me give you an example. Like, everybody's doing veneers right now. Mm -hmm. um, I see you still doing your grills. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, man, I need to go get some veneers because that's what... No, I feel like that's, that's uh, uh, a personal choice. You know what I'm saying? With people. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as trends like that that come along because it is a trend because everything because even like body getting their bodies done yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. trend it's a trend I, yeah it, it becomes a, a heavy thing uh, I feel like that depends on the type of person you are who are you are you a follower or are you a leader like you know what I'm saying is that what you want to do or is that what you're doing because you you know what I mean so it's I don't know but that depends on the person but some things to me is um, more because 
fashion, just like our, we're in clothing. I mm-hmm. remember when baggy clothes was in, mm-hmm. and then, then all tight of clothes came, then tight then clothes, baggy clothes coming back. And right, but I remember when tight clothes came in, and you had a, those people who were like, "Oh no, I ain't gonna wear that." This, 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 this. Mm-hmm. But eventually, they had to conform mm-hmm. to be, not to say acceptable, but to look a certain part. Mm-hmm. Just, that's what I'm thinking about even with these veneers that a lot of people are doing. Some people take them overboard and get these extremely wide and these extra, you know, you can have the it look more, right, more natural. But yeah. I, I see where like that has become a thing where to be accepted and it's been always around because if you look at all of these um, actors and actresses they've from back, they've been doing it. Yeah. It just become a thing where everybody else it become accessible to everybody else to do. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like yeah, like the market for sure don't went up. Right. And you look down, you scroll down your your timeline. You they, hey, they selling them. Mm-hmm. You like there ain't no such such them sell teeth. Mm-hmm. Niggas seeing that's the business to go lean in, and they gonna lean into that. So I don't know trending. I feel like when you the one serving it, it's good for you. The niggas that selling teeth right now is up. Yeah, they up. You know, it's the, it's the, you know, like I said, the followers and the, the people that just do these things and then they're yeah. going to say, I don't want these in my mouth no more, this, that, and other. Which I feel like if you go get your, your your teeth done, you should go get it done the right way for sure, for sure. Yeah. Do you feel like the city show uh, artists love, like do Dallas love their artists? Let's be real. I've, I had a conversation with a guy, yes. with a guy the other yes. night. I'm not going to say who he was. I do. But I, talk, I heard a guy the other night say that the city, they don't, once you come up, they don't show you love. I feel like I feel like um, the people that fuck with you fuck with you. Everybody ain't gonna fuck with you. The people that's gonna switch, they went there in, to begin with. They came with because you was popular at the time. When it came time to like I said, hold on to what you really do. They was like, oh, that was cool, but I'm on this over here. He was cool. That was cool. I like that little song. They not really a fan of you. It's cool. They could be a fan of your of a moment or a record of yours. Like you don't they, you don't need them. You don't need all of them. I feel like we take too much time and energy looking at who don't fuck with you. Mm. When it's a lot of people that fuck with us, mm. and they do. Like she knows. Sometimes you gotta drag me out of spots that where it's love. Cause I'm gonna sit in there. Cause it's so much hate out here. Mm. I'm gonna get in my all. Cause it's like, come on, man. So I feel like the artists just run around to me, oh man, I don't know, man, they trying, you know, they hating on me. Like, bro, it's people right now in your comments leaving fire emojis and you are fucking ignoring them and arguing with the nigga that said he don't like it. Mm. Who's the problem? That's real. That's real. I mean, you know. These niggas successful, bro. We talking, niggas are complaining and being, they successful. It's artists right. out here that just want a fan base. They'll take that hate that come with it. They just want a fan base. Like, bro, come on. They come with it. Yeah, but when you look at people, say, for instance, like Yellow, Yellow Beezy, who the city, you know, you get that, they had a traumatic experience of getting shot up and all kind of stuff. Should he should he forgive that situation in a way to deal with certain people in the city? Or should he continue? Because last time he had his press run, for sure, mm-hmm. he went to Cali and different places and did his press run, didn't really do nothing here. You know, you do got boss talk and others, but boss talk. Yeah, we won't naming. see your own boss. We got me looking out. Hold on, we, we, oh, we calling it. Yellow, we won't see your own boss. We won't see your own boss talk, man. So I just want to ask we you: do. do we do we feel like like do, do, he has a point? You know, you have to respect what he's. What yeah, he's yeah, going yeah, 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 yeah. You always you always want to um let somebody come, move on their own time. Yeah, and that that's how I am. I, I'm always. I ain't gonna never press you. You know what I'm saying? Trying to impress you. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to let you come to me for, when, it, for when it happened. Especially when I'm coming out of love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I'm coming out of love, I don't care what you got going. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it happened, it'll happen. Yeah, I'm definitely, I always have liked his music. I always rock with his whole movement. I always talked about it on the show from the day one. You know, oh, yeah, you, yeah, 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 designer, yeah, yeah, yeah. trapping designer. That. You know, I always was like that. So, the thing I, I just was trying to figure out, like, you know, like, he got a point, you know what I'm saying? I definitely know he got a point from all the stuff that he done been through in the city. Yeah. But everybody, but then you think about he might be right when you think of Muhammad Ali. What Muhammad Ali said was when it was a white thing and he was like, if you got a bunch of snakes (laughs) and you got all these bad snakes, but you got a thousand good snakes, but you got 25,000 bad snakes, do you try to let the you know, 10,000 good snakes in, or do you just close the damn door and don't let no snakes don't in? Let in yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. you don't know who's snaking. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a timing thing, though. Yeah, yeah. That's a timing thing. Yeah. What you guys, man? You guys came out early. Y'all, y'all success kind of rode together. Like, um, you guys came out early doing music together. Do you think that you and Yellow will ever do any other music together? I just sent your love verse. You just sent him one. <laughs> just sent your love verse. You and you and you feel like it's gonna be something that's gonna go. It's 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 for him. It's it's his record. Okay, so it, yeah. it, we gonna get that. Yeah, y'all gonna get that. That's what we need. Now, when is that coming out? Oh, oh, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's, oh. like I said, that's, Mr. Jamaica ain't gonna play with. When is it coming on out? The table. Then? It's on the table. Y'all ain't supposed to know it. <laughs> he just got a burst, so it, it's on him whenever it come out. Okay. Same uh, thing. Go, it out. go back to Trap Boy Freddie. Trap Boy Freddie. I was a little jealous the other day. I seen him interviewing. He with Charleston mm -hmm. White. Half Paint Films took him over there. I already heard about it. People talk. Mm -hmm. Half Paint ain't never try to bring the nigga over here. <laughs> I called you and I told you. I yeah, think yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga ain't bring him over here. I know damn well. Boss Talk is a very nice show. People love the show. I don't know if Half Paint loves no more because he don't show love right now. I don't know what's going on, nigga. You need to call me. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I'm just saying, you know, like. Uh, when you and Trap Boy are gonna do something else together? Uh, me and me and Freddie do need to do some more records. But I'll say this: I did something like a couple years ago. Yeah, we together. did some couple years ago. Uh, I'll say this: I know Freddie back um, talking numbers, like trap numbers. Like with, with Freddie, I would have to bring in like I don't know. I would have to curate the record to make it like make sense because he had he got a fan base now that likes a certain style of music. Style of music, and it don't make sense. Mm -hmm. If it, Cause me and Freddie locked in, but it don't make sense for us to do mm -hmm. a whole lot of music. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just based off of the, the content that I do and the content that he do. It ain't the same world. It's now we right. can talk about some women, you know what I'm saying? We can do that for sure. But he got a fan base that he got to feed just like I got a fan base I got to feed. So mm -hmm. it don't make the most sense for us to just be having a million records. His name Trap Boy Freddie, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, okay, so my question is, you know, I'm always going towards the ladies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, being an artist, and you're a very seasoned artist, mm -hmm. and um, some people coming up don't know how to handle a lot of stardom, and you're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I know females sometimes can be in DMs. Some females are very disrespectful. They don't care if you have a woman or not, so forth. None and of them care. No, some people care. Like, oh, you got a girl? Okay, respect that. You know, whatever. So, they you can't care. say none of them. Some of care. them do. They don't care. But um, how do you handle that? They don't, care. <laughs> they don't care. Or when you go to shows, you know, some of them might be trying to grope you, hug on you, do all this other stuff. Uh, that, how do you keep that, it? The moment of that, that's cool. That, that, ain't, that don't bother me. Like fans doing stuff like that. That's what we created the music that we seen Michael J people crying over Michael Jackson mm -hmm. like you want that like if, you, if your significant other don't want somebody don't, don't want the world going nuts over you like that's cool it's the ball in your court on how you control it you see what mm -hmm. I'm saying and me I'm like alright I don't see me looking and down in a crowd from the, me being on stage and saying hey you know what that girl's so fine I don't want to wake up and see my daughter tomorrow I want to mm -hmm. wake up and see her instead no, I, right. I haven't got to that point in my life. Mm. No, because I saw... <laughs> like, you I know saw, what I mean? I, I don't which think is I true. got to that point which like, is where true. I'm like, hey, I don't want my family. You know what? I think I want to hit that ass tonight instead of get baby cooking but dinner. I'm going to skip dinner tonight and hit that think, ass. Most men don't think it through. They go off of just like that. Or just like, okay, I was watching a movie. I was watching, and this is not a rapper. This was um, um, George Foreman. Mm -hmm. Right, so he went to a party. He was married at the time. He went to a party, saw this girl, so he ignored her that night. Mm -hmm. By the time he got back to his room, she was in his room. I saw that. Okay, <laughs> saw so in situations like that, how do you deal with something like that? Somebody being in my room? Yeah. That, that's going to end bad. Because isn't that how they caught... Um, there's a lot of people got caught up like that. Yeah, that, that'll end bad. I, if somebody just was in my room when I get there, nah, that'll end bad. Yeah, that, can't, that, ain't, it ain't no real, that ain't, yeah, that ain't real. That ain't happening, yeah, because no. you in there and I ain't tell what it, I got in there. But it happens, there, though. Be it happens, because nah, I'm sure it happened to him. So I'll I've heard it, it happen to other NBA players. I've heard it happen to yeah, yeah, yeah. other boxers. I've heard it happen to other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's scary. I, I couldn't see myself in that situation and not, like, spaz. Spaz that, like, get out. you got in here, like, my stuff in here. Like, I, I just, my mind is different. Like, I wouldn't be thinking of no pussy. Mm -hmm. Like, and we niggas that are, us. oh my God, God bless y'all soul. It ain't that serious. Mm -hmm. 
Man, I, I, sometimes I just wish everybody could have a player moment in their life. Everybody not a player. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't get to have they way. Some people up. not some used people to are it. Creeps. They they. Some people don't know how to talk to women, or they they just never had that if that that mm-hmm. thing. So it's like, man, it's scary. So they gonna take any opportunity they can get in that right there. No, nah, that's not an opportunity I'll take. That'd be a scary, scary sight if I walked in my room that I paid mm-hmm. for and somebody in there. Because you have stalkers. Now, first off, we gonna sue. Whatever hotel I'm at, mm-hmm. gonna sue them. Who let her in? Oh, for sure. Like I saw a picture online, um, Idris. Idris Elba um, took a picture with a fan. And he was like, so like she was like over here. He was no, nothing close. He, you know, he married now. And mm-hmm. everybody in the comments was like, some, a lot of people like, I understand it. But like, dang, why he had to stand so far? Da, da, da. Cause she was like, literally, yeah, you he could take a picture with his thing. Yeah, you could fit insane. like a kid through there. Yeah, that's, that's how. Insane. So I'm like, is now, that yeah, a now thing you, now? now? If you live at home where you, where your woman got you that scared to to take a picture with a supporter that bring money to the house that take care of your woman, she ain't, shouldn't be the one that's right there rocking with you. Like, but in the comments, they weren't even. It was so surprising to me that they. They were like, yeah, I understand because this Me Too movement, too many females, this, 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 this. It wasn't a lot of people was really right mad at him for even doing that. I mean, the, the Me Too movement is scary for them creeps. Stand up men, like, man, I don't feel like I ever feel like I'm in jeopardy of that because I'm always, you know, stand up. Toes. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I know we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna go over the shoulder. We gonna go over the top of the back. We, we ain't gotta deal with those things. Mm-hmm. We might not speak. I ain't gonna whisper in your ear. Like, some niggas are creeps. They just, like, like you said earlier, E, everybody ain't the same. No. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you, you don't wanna call my name like that because I'm, I'm over here trying to figure out what I'm gonna ask because I got good questions. I don't know if yours is great as mine. I feel like I got the... You and Johnny Damn D. Uh, Johnny Damn yeah. D. You see the nigga dance me doing this. Yeah, what is, what's going on mm-hmm. with... That? Yeah, what's... what's what, you see the new dance Shout faces. Out, you know, they trying to pull this boogie movement back in the... Pull it in, pull it in. All right, in, well, what, what do you... What, what do you see when you... when you, What do you think about when you see... I even I thought I seen uh, Mr. Hit That even checking some things out. Mm-hmm. Like, is this movement something that we can take serious, that it could it has a chance to come back? Or you being the, one not, of the I, kings... I don't, think, I don't think it's um the boogie movement even to come back. I just think dancing in general... It most definitely should have a bright light in Dallas because, man, we got some of the sauciest, smoothest dancing niggas you're going to ever see in your life, man. And, and these young niggas in this world in the past 10 years that we haven't been dancing, they've been getting rich, getting put on tours. And and it's been a lot of people in the, in the city that I felt like, damn, if you would have kept doing it, that would have been you bro, on that tour instead of these little niggas. Or mm-hmm. That would have been you with, a, with this many million TikTokers or whatever following you, this, that, and other. But I feel like now, you know, the confidence is back. These young niggas, is, they, you know, they them. This is what we do. We dance. Mm-hmm. We gonna, do y'all, man. Have fun, man. Have fun. Wow. You know, um, people are solving their differences, you know. Uh, a little bit earlier we talked, but I, I got to get back into the BG is home now. Mm-hmm. He rocking out with Boosie, the real OG. Mm-hmm. Uh, these, these, uh, we ain't, we ain't, we stand stomp down. We ain't tell on nobody. We rocking. We one of the real ones. We did our time. I faced murder. You know, you did. He left him on a gun charge that it wasn't even having nothing to do with you. But we here now. We finna make some music together. Um, what do you think about that? I heard the verse. I love that. <laughs> like, damn, all these particulars. The, the, the music sound good. I heard the verse. Sound good, don't it? And just what he's saying on there, like, Boosie was the one. He, you know, he looked out for mama, and, you know, he looked, man, that's real. So he rocking the right way. That's, he came out and, and, and gave him a verse first. Do you think going back to <laughs> cash money was a, a good look for, for BG? Oh, yeah. why, why wouldn't it be? I'm just saying, this is the question yeah. the people want to know. Can the right. people always feel like because he's been gone for so long, like coming back, like he should sit down and be more of a boss instead of trying to come back out as a rapper? I mean, he, I feel like he can work terms under under baby if he wanted to. If you want to come back and hit the ground running and, and figure out 2023, when he go in? Man, it, 11 years That much 12 years ago. Just count back. Figure it out. So Man, do your thing. Do you feel like he's he's uh you do after eleven years? But imagine that. Do your thing. I'm out here with all this knowledge. I I'm current, currently making millions. 
Do your thing. That's a hard way to come back into the game. No, come up under me. You can learn this game. You way smarter now. How things change. The whole game done change. You can, he can, he has an opportunity to negotiate whatever he want at this point. Mm -hmm. So that's really on bro. And you know, I feel like he gonna choose right. He been sitting, he been sitting down for 11. 11 mm -hmm. years, yeah. He got, a, he got a lot of, a lot of people to feed. Well, yeah. I feel like he gonna do that. Yeah, I could only imagine being gone for Even if he under baby, because baby a uh, filthy rich. Mm -hmm. A beast mode when it comes to that business, too. <laughs> Good business. Beast mode. Big business. And he don't home. even have to rap or do none of that stuff anymore. His money going to keep coming in. Mm -hmm. He can teach him how to be a C You got kids. Let's run them up. Run it all the way up. That's another thing. Like, the one thing, it is, you know, it's hard for kids, bro, talking to, like, Little Soldier Slim, and they grown men now, of course. Uh, uh, co uh, Corey that made it home, Pimp mm -hmm. C's son. Uh, you got Shorty Lowe Jr., all these people done lost their dads and stuff, man. It's hard coming under that umbrella when you got celebrities as parents, man. It, I say that. It's, I it's say it's very hard, hard man. Mm -hmm. You hear this on the, what they growing up, hip hop. I've been mm -hmm. looking at them shoes like, shows like, damn, like, I'd hate to have to be in them kids' shoes. Man. I always say it. I wonder what's harder. Coming up like me, none of my family members do music. Like, I'm the only one. Yeah. The only one. And I ain't got nobody to say, hey, what you think about this? Like, I just went in and did it. Mm. Doing that and not having nobody to, like, get no information from or having big shoes to fill. Mm -hmm. What's harder? Coming up out the mud. You know, nigga, love my, you know, I come up out the mud. Yeah, or the mud. having a blueprint and failing. Would you stop your kids from pursuing, wanting to pursue? No, nah, they can career? do. They can pursue whatever they want to. Whatever they want to do, I'm not gonna force it. Even I'll as much that. as you know about this industry, you're, you're not gonna say you will guide them. I'm here to help them with their life. Mm -hmm. I don't want to control it. What do you? I'm, I'm be. I'm be real. Like, what do you? What are you seeing in Dallas? Uh, as far as the artists go, like the new artists, the uh, the the, I ain't talking about Big X. Y'all y'all use Big X plug <laughs> name every damn time I ask this question. Cause that's current. I, that's current. I, I want to hear about that underground dude. This is it. it, it who's next uh, after Big X that you see that you think is really doing a a, a bang up job? It's a lot of niggas doing good jobs, bro. Uh, Barrio doing good job right now. You uh, mess with little Barrio? Doing a great job, man. I got to get him on the show again. He's yeah, been on here a few on times, here. but uh, we keep hearing his name. But what is stopping him from getting on to that status? That's that's. You need that's the, no, that's the Rubik's cube of the music business. There's no answer to that question. All you can do is keep swinging. Like you said, if you didn't have a hit, I didn't know I was making hits. I was making records. I was hustling. I was grinding. Niggas just got to put their head down, and when they look up, they might have themselves something. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's really what this game is, because ain't nothing guaranteed. Like, you ain't guaranteed four years in the music business, and you're going to win. You can guarantee yourself four years you go to school, you're going to get you a little degree or something, you're going to mm -hmm. get you some money. So you can commit your whole life to this shit and get nothing. That's mm -hmm. why I say play chess, not checkers, because everything got to be meaningful. Or you're going to wake up, and you're going to be like, damn, I'm just an old nigga nobody want to listen to. And I keep dropping a million songs. Nobody want to hear me. Like it, it puts you in a weird space. So you gotta really make an impression when you when, when people are listening to you and looking mm -hmm. at you. Like I said, little bro, he hustling right now. That's hard. I feel like his head down. Wow. Keep your head down. It's a lot of young niggas in the city that got their head down, and I want them to keep their head down. Like, do not look up, bro. Don't even. Cause it's hard to get get any love in Dallas. And when you get love in Dallas, sometimes you can kind of like lose it. Cause you're like, damn, I'm popular in this motherfucker now. It's good, cause it's hard, bro. It's hard. I'm telling you, it's probably 800 people on just this street we own that rap. Do you? Can can I get a song with you in softball? I got a verse from Walt. It ain't never come out. I know. I need a new song with Walt. <laughs> I'm I serious. I, I need nah, that, I do, bro. I do. I do. I fuck with Walt. Sauce Walker is, is, is that'll be a hell of a son. That nigga that'd be is, a that bad nigga Houston too. Well, God, that nigga. him and DeRoe. Well, okay, but what type of record would you like? What, what type of record would you like? Bro, bro? you got see, see, bro, he got, you got a lot of different directions. He got you can an air from, for it, bro. so he could say you you got a lot of different re directions you could come from. I know where I can come. What type of record would you want her? Because I okay. want to hear that nigga do Houston. I want to hear you do Dallas on one record. 
on one record because we really ain't had really there's no no feel for something like that. And people love to rep their. That'll be a bridge. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> That'll be a bridge, you know, do you. The hardest you you can do, and he bring the hardest him he can do. That's what a bridge is. You still is. ain't tell, tell me nothing. Bruh, <laughs> all I'm saying is, you know what, what you do. I, I, Bro, I'm saying, what type of record? Okay, take business. You do a lot of Okay, take, take business. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Yeah. We do a record, and it's a club record. You're like, man, ain't the type of song I want to hear y'all do together. Now, yeah, here right. we are on a song. Yeah, I'm like, these niggas done messed this up. Okay, give me my category. <laughs> give me my category. What genre? What genre do you want to hear them niggas together? Them niggas don't know how to do it right. You wanted to do it. I want this type of sauce, and I want this type of runny to come. What? I just really, like I said, man, when you think about New Year's resolution. Okay, you, you want, you want yeah, some, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I want it to be something where a nigga having a good time. So I would have went left. And I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm going to be honest with you. Man, Salsa fall right into that type oh, of yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. He love getting money. That nigga likes to entrepreneur. He's an entrepreneur. For he, sure. he He loves to organize, you know, get a lot of people with him and, and act a fool. So, you know what I'm saying? And you just going to show up and bring it to how you bring it. And I'm being real. I love to see that, man. We don't have that enough going no, on. be hard. Between awesome. Dallas and Houston. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? When you think about it, Dallas and Houston, uh, you've had collabs. Yeah. But we need more of that, bro. We need yeah. to, Dallas, Houston, you know, Fort Worth, all that, man. I ain't going to lie. We do, need, we do need more um, Houston. Just, just I'll say Texas. 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 But it all got to make sense. I feel like all the artists... I might not be the artist that need to collab with certain artists, but I do see what artists need to. What keeps it divided? Is it the Cowboys know. in Houston? No, nah, hell, no, I can't be that. It's it's something. Can't be that. Something keeps that that line there. But I think you the said best it's we divided. seen it though was when like when when that screw music was going down through there, and you would have like Tom Tom them, or you oh, have yeah, yeah. you would have uh, it was niggas in Oak Cliff. It was niggas everywhere coming together doing that screw and them doing that regular, you know, music. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? The regular tracks. Like, that's when I seen more Houston were frequent in this whole trying to get them them DVD, I mean, them CDs and DVDs to try to get mm -hmm. them old. That hand to hand brought people together, didn't it? Nah, for sure. So you're saying it's divided, but how is it divided? You're saying because Houston people are not coming over here to perform? No, they're not. They're performing here. They can't. Okay, they so, got to get their money. It's so, the collabing part, like with the music, the different groups. You got so many different people, they keep it so Houston. You got so many people that keep it so Dallas. You got so many niggas in Fort Worth that keep it so Fort Worth. It to where it's a problem. We gotta break those those because those their bugs. sound is so different that they. It just ain't feel that different. Them niggas can do it. These niggas Man, a lot of, But listen, I'll say this to to play devil's advocate. A lot of these um hot artists, bro. These young niggas is really still in the streets, bro. That's like, real. Ain't, ain't the music ain't changed their life, bro? So they can't go push up in another nigga hood. And just feel comfortable and do that, bro. Like it be shit going on that be happening when they do do things like this. Mm -hmm. It go bad, bro. Like niggas, like it ain't no like. That's why I said if you put in an artist that it makes sense to do this with, they can see oh we making money, we can make some money, bro. But, but when we talking about these young niggas on the ground still, man, these young niggas still be like I don't know if he gonna slime me, I'm gonna slime him out for it. like these young niggas mindset be that, bro. These like the popular artists in the world right now. It's transitioning, but it's the ground, it's the streets, bro. Man. And these young niggas are still in the streets, bro. Hot Boy West was doing it. He was getting on everybody's stuff. I seen him doing it, bro. Free Hot Boy West. I know. He you see what I'm saying? Now. But he, that he nigga was, he was, he was, he was, he was really the real guy. He every hood. You he see was what I just, you see, you see the boy I just know over here? Now. He was over here. He come over here and see me. He was. That nigga was going everywhere. He really was. He was the real thing. And that's why I want him home, man. But some I said free free uh hot boy West. They told me don't free him on my comment. These niggas is horrible, man. What? Yeah, it's a bunch of horrible niggas out here, man. And nah, yeah, free that man, comments, man. man. I'm keep quit reading them. But it's say, scary. Don't it's, free him. What he do? You a scary want thing when you an artist, bro, <laughs> and you and you the real thing. Because a lot of these niggas, you know, perpetrate. Yeah. But when you the real thing, bro, it's hard for you to go just be friendly and be in the mix. Yeah. Because in your mind, you still on the ground, bro. I think that's the one so thing. That, I be wanting that money to come so they can get that comfort. And niggas can meet at a neutral ground. Not, mm -hmm. oh, you got to come to my trench and my this. Like, everybody going to be comfortable. They can work. They can get it in. I feel like that's what, it, it got to be a, a middle person that's respected. Hey, hey, I'm going to have y'all come meet up with this, that, and other. You know, and on the grounds of them, nothing's going to happen. 
No That's entourages real. is going to like it, The entourage is not even going to. Nah, we ain't shooting dice today, my boy. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't even know each other like that. Nah, we good. That's real. We came to do some music. That's all it's going to be. We can do that on tour. Y'all yeah. can, can argue once we get this money. Yeah. And niggas be lost before that because they still on the ground, bro. Drake I is staying in Houston. Let me say this before I forget. Drake is staying in Houston now. Um, staying as in living? I, what I heard. I yeah, I seen that too. I heard a nigga living in Houston now. So, you know, uh, shit, maybe we need to get him to get a feature. Come on, boss, talk going Man, on. Tell nigga, Drake, you right here in Texas. Tell I don't tell understand why you ain't came on here. I don't understand why you ain't collab with Dallas. You been in music for a minute now. You love Houston, and I seen you down there, and you do your thing. Uh, June 27th, all that, I get it. But you got to lock in with Dallas, man. Yeah, man, come tap in. You got in, to Drake. lock in with Dallas, and East Texas, Texas. Yep. You talk about him coming down to Dallas and doing that. Um, who was the last person he collaborated with in Houston? Oh, the nigga is, is, is let me Tizo see. Touchdown, I think. Yeah, he done did a lot. How long He's, ago was that? I think that was this year. Oh, but you really? got to understand, his whole brand is, is, is a Houston thing. Mm -hmm. Meaning, who he is is the makeup come from out of Houston. And then I just seen him posted with on uh, D Baby and um, mm -hmm. Rick. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he all I'm saying he need to be posting with, with 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 the Dallas cats too. You gonna stay in Houston? You gotta come see us, man. That's all I'm saying. I Texas got, on a whole. Mm -hmm. I got a question. So um, everybody saw where T Rail got kicked off of that um, tour. Yeah, I saw that too. Um, what you think about? Do you think he should have been kicked off or something like that, or not, or? I don't know. I feel like that was blue choice to be able to make. Mm. The tour it ended. I right? hate that for it, it ended, it ended right, right after. And, and, and I seen they canceled the yeah. rest of the dates. So maybe it was a, a better thing for T Real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just to get to somewhere that's a little more foundation underneath it. You dig mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We had him on the show and he say he gained like 30,000 more subscribers. Yeah, it, was, oh, yeah. it was some benefits in that. It put Working eyes on him. Yeah, it put eyes on him. It, it, some stuff just fall right. Like, yeah. it may look wrong, but it fall right. You and know? he probably didn't, he, you know, he, with him saying I'm not in the mix of that, being in the tour, doing right. all that, just being out of it all the way, let you know you ain't in the mix of it anyway. So sometimes God pull you out of stuff. Sometimes it don't be, just think God did that sometime, bro. You That's exactly said, what we think. Let me get you up out of there, little bro. For both sides. So there ain't no confusion for you. You dig what I'm saying? I've been seeing you putting the gloves on. Shout out to uh, Sean mm -hmm. Cotton and, and, and uh, Southwood winning and all that stuff, man. You you got the gloves on in the videos. And I think I seen uh I think I seen my boy uh go down uh uh half pint. I seen him seen him go down. Yeah, and with him and um, Fresh. Yeah, Fresh I think Fresh <laughs> took that nigga to the ground. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> That was pretty. That was pretty. Do intense. you like where you see things going for us with everybody? Just you know, is it just fun? Is it just yeah, everybody yeah, having fun. a good yeah, time? Yeah, having a good time. And I think the same thing with Cotton. Like I think everybody that's just exactly had, what it just is. having a good, good time. time. And I think those are things that bridges are being mended as well, for where sure. people are seeing people in a different light. They I think get to get in a different light. They get yeah. in different buildings with one another. You know, we're not in studio. We're not in that trench. We are in comfortable mm -hmm. spaces and. Just and it's money time. being made too. Money being made. You can't never be mad when it's some money being made. Man, thank you for coming on the show. You know I love you, bro. I know it. Love hey, man, too. listen, man. How can people get a hold of you if they try man, to rock out with you? Lil Runny Modelf on all platforms. L I L R O N N Y M O T H A F. I'm your favorite bald head person. You dig what I'm saying? You're ever going to see for sure. Damn. Man, listen, man. Hey, man. It's been another great se segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out.